Hi, I am here to talk to you about autism and my experience with it, courtesy of my son, my brother, my cousins, and other autistic souls that I have encountered in my lifetime. I am not a scholar, I'm not a college professor, nor am I what you think that I should be. I am me and only me, Sodia, the professional amateur. I am a mom, a wife, a daughter, a sister, an aunt, a cousin, and a friend undoubtedly. All of these positions of life that I am subscribed to has afforded me the experiences of autism and the beauty that hides in the ugly perceptions of humanity. I speak as a professional amateur and I share my own inspiration and experiences with you as I desire that you are inspired of your own. When I was about seven, I remember overhearing my mom speaking on the phone to one of her friends about my brother. Sam is currently 41 years old, but at the time, he would have been nine. We called him Brutus. My mom said that the doctors told her that the best thing that she could do for her son is to fill him with love as often and as much as possible. This information has always stuck with me, like the two strands of gray hair I've had in my head since I was young. I use this wisdom to understand the unseen sources of compassion that I've seen both of my parents exhibit while caring for my brother. For the most part, my brother was oblivious to the strength that it took to exhibit the love that he was addicted to. But for everyone else that witnessed it, respect and honor became the red carpet that laid down at the feet of their bravery. My son Nathan is 10 years old. He was diagnosed with autism, and because of the standards of caring for my brother was so high, I don't offer any less to my son. The first prescription that I'm qualified to write as a professional amateur is for anyone who experiences life that is inclusive of interactions with an autistic person. This prescription would be for a massive dosage of phenomenal patience. Love is the most valuable and least expensive contribution you can give to any human being. Acceptance does not mean defeat. A diagnosis is not a death sentence and admittance has no guilt. I have observed many people throughout my lifetime having shame or embarrassment in regards to special needs children and adults. Sometimes the weight of the shame was so heavy that the denial of it became the poison that fed the associated stereotypes, misguided innuendos, and jokes. Understanding that every day will not be an easy day, taking a solemn oath of phenomenal patience is an individual accountability that has the benefit of crossing over into other areas of your life. As I have allowed patients to instruct me on how to communicate more effectively with my brother and my son, it has healed me with the ability to have an enormous amount of compassion for many things and many people. Even those that get a laugh at the expense of our perseverance. Understanding that they have no insight of my son's world as he has no insight on the world in which they live. Requiring such from anybody is a forced invasion of uninformed responses that result as pity and quite frankly is unwelcomed. As I hope to even the playing field with the truth of my experiences and that of my son and my brother, maybe the smiles and giggles from strangers will not be at their expense, but rather add to their value. As I further learn how to acknowledge and interact with the complex simplicities of autism, I am learning to have great respect for the world of which I see. And in the world I see, the autistic is the new face of a much needed revolution of perception.